If you have been struggling with your double bass speed or feel like you've hit a wall, this lesson is going to change it once and for all. In today's episode of Art of Drumming, I will show you an unprecedented way to get faster feet for double bass using the power of science. First, we have to understand how our body works on a deeper level. Second, we learn two types of bodily adaptations that are necessary for the most muscle improvement. And third, an obvious but often taken for granted aspect of our body. Finally, we will put all of that into a cutting edge double bass training plan that will help you break your speed barrier once and for all. Our muscles come in two types. Slow twitch fibers, developed force slowly, can work for longer periods and have higher aerobic capacity, meaning they are able to make more use of oxygen as fuel. Fast twitch fibers develop force quickly and with more power, but they can only work for shorter periods of time and have higher anaerobic capacity. They rely primarily on an energy carrier known as ATP, which consumes our body's glucose stores as fuel. This produces metabolites and lactic acid, which is what makes that burning sensation in your muscles and is a key point in understanding the next part on adaptations. You undoubtedly know that in order to improve muscular capacity, you need to exercise to force your body to make adaptations. But you might not know how and why. Let me show you. Exercising harder than you are used to overloads your body with more metabolites and lactic acid than it can deal with, which stimulates the muscle cells to become faster and increasing the amount of lactate that they can deal with, so that you can then go even faster. Therefore, it makes sense to train in a domain that produces the most lactic acid, which will force the greatest amount of adaptation, the severe domain, or what I like to call the tired as fuck domain. What speed will you be able to sustain for a maximum of 20 seconds and then you become tired as fuck? That is basically a rough gauge of your severe domain. You also need to exercise in a different manner to force a second type of adaptation, the adaptation of our cardiovascular system. Remember what I said about slow twitch fibers using oxygen as fuel and producing no lactic acid? That's what we're activating here. In this second type of adaptation, you're forcing your heart and lungs to work harder to provide oxygen to the muscle cells, which improves how much blood your heart can pump and the amount of blood vessels surrounding the muscles. More blood vessels around the muscles means more oxygen can be passed between the two. You do this by training in the domain that produces the least metabolites and lactic acid, therefore forcing your heart and lungs to work harder. And this is the moderate domain, or what I like to call the piece of cake domain. What speed can you sustain for an hour while hardly experiencing any fatigue, such that you even be able to go on that same speed for up to 3 hours? And that is a rough gauge of your moderate domain. This can seem weird the first time you try it because it's so easy you won't feel like you're working out. This training model has been researched and tested out and has been shown to beat other kinds of traditional models of training. This is the final point and I know it seems really obvious but so many of us take this for granted. Muscles turn energy or fuel into motion. Therefore, for our muscles to work properly, you've got to be well fed and well rested. You have to eat enough amounts of carbohydrates, protein and keep yourself well hydrated to ensure that you have enough fuel for what you're trying to achieve in terms of speed and endurance. If you have a habit of taking irregular meals, eat junk food all the time, and not staying properly hydrated, you are in no position to demand more from your muscles. You must also allow adequate rest for the muscles to recover every time you train. Otherwise, you just risk something known as overtraining. It's when your muscles are still trying to recover and you subject them to even more torture and this cycle goes on till your muscles give up on you. And over time, instead of getting faster, you notice yourself plateauing, or worse, you get slower. So, if you don't have sufficient consistent sleep, or if you don't let your muscles rest enough such that you recover, you are also in no place to demand more from them. Even my dog knows to eat and rest well, and so should you. Now that you're armed with all that wonderful scientific knowledge, it's time to look at an example of a double bass training plan. On Monday, do one hour of piece of cake, cruising leisurely for 10 to 15 minute segments with very short rest periods of no more than 30 seconds, or do one hour non-stop. This is going to be boring, so do this while reading a book, or watching a TED talk, or practicing something on top with your free hands. On Tuesday, you can do 4 minutes of tired as fuck, sprinting for 20 seconds, resting for 10, Repeat till 4 minutes are up, 
rest for 5 minutes, then repeat another set. Don't forget to cool down. On Wednesday, you either rest or you just leisurely practice. Thursday can be another piece of cake session. Friday, another tired as fuck session. And you can rest for Saturday and Sunday. With any kind of training, I do suggest that you tweak and experiment just to find out what works best for you. And do not expect overnight results. Although, you can expect results as fast as 6 weeks. And I'm sure that beats the crap out of struggling for a whole year. The things I've talked about here are just gross summaries. So I suggest you check out the links to a number of helpful articles I provided in the video description below. To summarize, spend a short amount of time practicing in your tired as fuck domain, a long time practicing in your piece of cake domain, eat and rest well, and then proceed to melt faces with a double bass speed. If you're interested in how exactly I do my double bass practice or how you can even practice along with me here on YouTube, Stay tuned for I'm creating a new series I call The Art of Drumming Practice Alongs where I demonstrate my practice workouts and provide you a way to practice with me on screen. There will be 4 levels of difficulty per exercise so that everyone can join in. That's all for this episode. If you like what you see here and want to support me, please hit subscribe or support me on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. See you at the next one.